Hi, I'm Irish Kevin, and today we're going to install this thing. It's an outside uh, downlight. All right, before you get crazy, uh, yes, I'm intentionally installing an incandescent downlight in today's day of LED. And the reason is I'm going to put in a, a light bulb shaped internet LED light, so it needs one of these. Yep, and I had to climb up this ladder up into that hole. So let's take some video up. I wanted to film up here, but as you can see, it is a very tight space. Yeah. <laughs> right there, that's where the wire went down, right where the light is. All right, just real quickly, just to get up into the soffit, there are these little nails. All you gotta do is push this up, just get the uh, nail puller side of the hammer, <laughs> or just get the back side of the hammer up in there and uh, just yank it out. All right, so I'm gonna run this other snake down. And there we go. There you go. I ran the snake through, there it is. every step of the way. All right, so here's what I got. I got 100 feet of 14.2 Romex. That's your basic electrical wire. That's 14 gauge. It does say two wire. That means is, well, it's two wires plus a ground. That's what's in here. Check that out. All right, so I got 100 feet because 50 feet is not quite enough. And 100 feet, I have a lot of extra to deal with. So, all right, here it is, nice and taped up. Make sure you taper it all the way to the end here. If you leave this wire out, it will catch on everything as you pull it through. The whole idea is I want to pull it through that little opening over there, just to keep everything clean up here. And there it is. All right, we got it in. But there's the finished product of uh, the wire coming in from the front. I uh, haven't quite nailed it all down yet. All right. So you see up behind me, there it is. I have the wire run out. And it's down on the ground, and we're going to run that over to the other side. And I already have the snake up in there. So I'm not going to bore you with running the snake or talking about it. Okay, we're at the point where we're ready to cut the hole in the soffit up above here. And we have our drum roll hole tool. All right, so before we cut the hole in the soffit, we're gonna test it out on some uh, drywall scraps so that uh, when it comes to the real cut, I don't screw it up. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, because it's the day before St. Patrick's Day and I'm trying to get this project done so I can have green lights on the outside of the house here. This is the drywall scrap that I'm going to use and I've already marked a four inch circle with the center. I have two of them. These outer marks I'm going to cut. That's where I'm going to, that's where the feet will sit. So I'm going to cut outside of that. All right so we have our circle. We're just going to try the sucker out. See what we got. But first, safety glasses. Here we go. I'll line it up and I'm going to punch the hole which is easy to do with the drywall. There we go. Let's fire it up. Perfect. All right. All right, pop in the hole.
the wire through. Here's the proof, trusty dusty electrician pliers. So cut this bad boy in half. Oh, and there's no power because it's not tied in. Boom. Cut it away. So we're gonna uh, strip the neutral and the, the lead. It's called 14-2 Romex wire, so I know it's the 14 gauge. And a one. And a two. And a three. And a three. There we go. Yeah, and honestly, I don't remember which one is supposed to be the feed and which one's supposed to be the going to the other one. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you why. Because inside here, we have quick connects. Booyah. All right, well, let's give it a test fit. filming yeah all right let's hook it in Next thing we gotta do is just put it up. Oh. All right. We'll just push down the four tabs. Okay, so now we're gonna put in a, a two switch or a two gang old work box before we started cutting the wall. Oh yeah. Put a drywall screw in here so that this doesn't fall on the wall. There we go. <laughs> and use that to pull it right out. So this has what's called the new construction box, meaning it was put in when the house was built. It's one switch, I need two switches. This one controls the garage light. You can see it's nailed in. I did a little experimentation. I wasn't sure if I was going to cut the nail or if I could pry it out. As you can see, I can get in here with the screwdriver and push it over and pry it out. I'm going to do the same on the top. We're making some progress here. Boom! One side! <laughs> Just a matter of time, we'll get the other side. Alright, so I got it pulled out. So this looks like it's set up for a three-way, even though it's not. These are the neutrals here. Live. This is the switch that goes up to the existing light. That's fine. We'll just keep that the way it is. So off of the new one, I'll make a switch here off of this live. Oh, I haven't I haven't pulled the wire down yet, but we're going to do that. As you see, I got it pulled through. Unfortunately, I couldn't film that either because that was... A giant pain in the ass and here's why insulation <laughs> what we did was we ran this down so it came out and I had someone well specifically mrs. Irish Kevin find it and pull it out because when I was trying to shove it down from the top it just got caught on everything so I'm told a good idea is to put some slack inside the wall just in case you ever need to pull this out and you need the extra slack unlike these which have no extra slack so Oh, yeah, if I want to sound smart, we want to call this a service loop. Beauteous. All right, first we're going to bolt down the workbox. I prefer to use a manual screwdriver with this because I can feel if it's working or not. You can do with the... yeah, see? And it doesn't have to be too tight because 
and start breaking things otherwise. But give it a tug, it's in there. So I've hooked up one of the grounds, so I'm going to hook up the other one. This one we have to make a bit of a loop. So you just use your uh, electrician plier here and we'll squeeze nice and even there. If it says no, it's upside down. <laughs> now when it comes to hooking up the power, there's team Two schools of thought, there's Team Wraparound, there's Team Quick Connect. Today we're doing Team Quick Connect because that's the way it was done before. And, uh, yeah, and that's that, so I don't want any debates, whatever. Whatever. All right, so we know from photographs that we took, and I always take photographs. The red wire was the switch, the power cutoff, and the black wire was the supply. Team quick connect. All right, so we got one in. All right, supply, and the switch. All right, so I'm not going to bore you with putting it in. That's easy enough. Yeah. Here's the last part. <laughs> Put on the face plate. Dun, 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 dun. Right, and the final touch. There it is. There it is. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. It should go right into the wall. All right, focus. Of course an old switch apparently see it's broken in the back we're at the stage where we're ready to use lots of hand gestures just like the guys on DIY so today we're gonna outside we're gonna outside all right will you stop focusing you fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> by the hour okay uh, all right let's look at the camera Could be for Dear Irish Kevin email. Dear Irish Kevin, what are those crazy hooks up in your soffit? Well, the answer to that is Mrs. Irish Kevin requires Christmas lights to be hung from these. And I don't want to stick them into the roof. <laughs> fucking camera. It's a great camera, but all it does is do is fucking focus. Fucking focus. Fuck us. Okay. Fuck. So, I hope I've answered your question. And if not, Go f*** yourself. <laughs>